Hey everyone, welcome to Unicorn Test Designs. Maybe I should start practicing putting my um, apron on that's back there because I got paint everywhere on myself today. Hello, welcome everyone. This is a live broadcast, so I am on um, YouTube and Facebook. So for those of you that are new to the lives, if somebody comments on YouTube, you won't be able to see it on Facebook and vice versa. So if anybody asks a question, I'll make sure that I read it out loud. So you guys aren't like, what the easy is she talking about? Um, so we are going to be working on rolling pins today. If y'all can do me a huge favor. Okay. I'm making sure I am not muted. Huge favor. And if you're on Facebook, if you can share, I'd appreciate it. Oh my gosh, you guys are just talking about sharing. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I keep saying that I'm going to pick the winners of like the two past paint and lays I said I was going to give away. I promise I'm not a liar. I am just a squirrel and I, I get distracted. So I promise I will comment tomorrow on one of the winners from the, the two past videos. Okay. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. This is why like, I don't usually do like giveaways on like my channel and stuff because I'm so bad about like sending stuff out, but I am aware. So I don't want somebody being like, Oh my gosh, she's doing giveaways. And then she doesn't give any like a bit away. <laughs> hey everyone. How are you? So if you're on Facebook, if you could do me a favor and share, I'd really appreciate it. I am trying to get monetized on my Facebook live. So if there's any of you that could switch on over to Facebook and help me out there, I would appreciate it. Thank you, April, for sharing. I appreciate you, girl. Hello, hello. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? And as you are coming in, if you could give me a like, a heart. Uh, yes, we can see you, B. Duncan. If you could give me a heart and a like as you are coming in, it helps. Right now, we got 66 people watching and I only got four likes. So if you guys could hit that like button really quick. I'd really appreciate it. Come on. Okay. I see five. All right. Five out of 67. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Hi, Tiffany. You're awesome, girl. Thank you for watching me on both. Liz, thank you for switching over. Hello, Lisa. All right. Hit that like button as you're coming in, you guys, especially Facebook. It lets Facebook know that you are, that looks like a stain already. How funny. Uh, we're going to be working on rolling pins today. I'm going to do just a random, you see nine likes. Okay. Maybe it's just StreamYard. It could just be StreamYard. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Taisha. Dawn, everybody. Hello. I should have like just taken these stickers off beforehand because this is going to be like the longest um, dang process of it all is just getting the stickers off and all the nastiness. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for sharing with Donna. Facebook is another forum, I guess you can say. Natty, you're in YouTube. Wait, where are we now? Huh? Erin, is there a way? Let's see. Oh, what, what was that? I don't think you could even click that link, unfortunately. Thank you, Tina, for sharing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm on Unicorn Dust Designs um, business page. That was so funny. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, thank you for hitting the like button. This is your first time. It's B. Duncan's first time in the chat on YouTube, you guys. So extend a welcome to her. You're a part of a great community, B. Duncan. Everybody is super friendly. Um, usually the show, same people show up on the live. So it's really fun because you get to know people. I usually see rolling pins all the time at thrift stores. Now that I am looking for one, they have disappeared. Isn't, isn't that how it always works? Um... Thank you for the stars, Denise. We appreciate it. All the stars you give give us. So we've nailed it down. I've said that um, we're it's going to go towards my brother's celebration of life, like getting there. 
And that money is going to go towards a dog sitter because we are having issues finding somebody a dog sit. So I finally broke down and was like, I'm going to have to go on Rover and look for a dog sitter there. And oh my gosh, <laughs> the prices. I mean, I get it. It's somebody taking care of your dog for like a week. I get it. Um, and I obviously want them to be compensated, but I'm like, oh my gosh, that's expensive. Um, first time with you, Debbie on YouTube. I've seen all of your videos. Well, welcome, Debbie. Thanks for joining us on the live. Hey, Jennifer. Um, Lola, are you talking about um, Facebook? Because Facebook, this is the business page, not the group page, and I'm not in the actual group. Hey, Jennifer. I already said, hey, Jennifer. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly's first time as well joining us. All right. So this one I was a little confused on just because the handles look a little bit more vintage, but the pin, like the body of the pin itself is like way too clean to be vintage. And I can tell too by like the, um, the holes that I don't think this is vintage whatsoever. The handles are really nice and almost look vintage and look vintage, but I don't, I really don't think this is a vintage rolling pin. Thank you, Erin, for the stars. Hello, Mary. Tiffany, thank you for the stars, girly. Appreciate you all. Jenny said hello to all the new viewers. All right. So I think this one was $349. I think this one was $298. And this one was $349 too. Isn't it fun? All the different handles of rolling pins and the different sizes. I had one outside I was almost going to do, but it was like super long and skinny. And I was like, oh, I don't know. So I left that one out. I definitely will always craft the ones that have the plastic rim around them. I know those are newer. They're not vintage. So well, thank you, Judy, for switching over to Facebook because that actually helps me out. Dee said, I watch you all the time, so it's time to join. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Hi, Lisa. Oh, why do they have to? Hi, Tammy. Okay, Lola. You guys. Oh. Uh. Kendra, so many new timers, new timers, first timers, <laughs> new timers. <laughs> All right, you guys, hold on. I'm going to go get my goo gone because this, do you see how sticky that is? Like I could literally lift up the rolling pin. Sorry, I'm on like rubbing this. I know that there was a sticky part, maybe not, but I'm going to go. So hello everybody. And I'll be right back. I'm going to go get that goo gone. Oh, and the ginger ale. Right. Got me some Goo Gone. Thank you to everybody who joined the thrift haul tonight. We already pulled orders so that we can start packaging them tomorrow. Hello, Melinda. Roberta, you should be able to find me by just looking up um, Unicorn Dust Designs. Uh, there will be a group that pops up and a business page. I'm on the business page. So I'm just using Goo Gone to take off this sticky, sticky residue. Oi. Oh, gosh. Didn't want to get this all over the rolling pin, but okay. Robin, oh, I was like, I have that one too. Duh. It's right here. Oh, gosh. This is like super sticky, super, super sticky. I might have to. I can't. I can't paint over sticky stuff. Um, I know that you'll see it through the paint. So. I will do whatever I need you to get it off. Is Rhonda on too? Sorry if I'm missing people, you guys, as I'm over here on the struggle bus as usual. Thanks, Roberta. Hi, Vicki. Hello, hello, my friends. Thanks for joining. 
Okay, I think that one's good now. And then let's get this guy. This one's like super raw. This one doesn't even seem like anybody has ever used it. Like it's not oily or anything. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Brandon. Thanks for joining. Just making sure none of that. I could have sworn I had a sticky. Okay, let me get, we're going to have just some fun. I'm going to try different things. I got stamps. I got a transfer. I was going to do decoupage, but I couldn't. Nothing was like totally speaking to me. Decoupage. And I don't have a lot of decoupage paper. Um, especially like in little bits, you know what I'm saying? Like smaller pictures. I have the birds one from Roy cycle, but that's the only one that's like smaller images. Um, and then I thought about using molds, but I was like, girl, you getting too into it. Let's keep it, let's keep it simple. You know, hi Lisa. I like the one with the straight handles too. And sorry, and I apologize right now if I miss anybody like coming in or, you know, anybody's comments. Oh, Kim. Kim said, my son is watching you in, on my account YouTube. So I just switched to Facebook. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Patricia. I am going to wipe these down, get some of the residue off. And definitely when you use Goo Gone, make sure that you wipe it off with something afterwards. Even though you're wiping it with a paper towel, make sure you wipe it again because it will show up as an oily spot in like oh, through your paint. That's what I was trying to say. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Emily. Lisa, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate you very, very much. I swear, trying to get monetized on these Facebook Lives, I don't feel like the dang, because it, it'll it show you, like, the minutes and, like, the percentage that, like, you're at, you know? So it says 27% out of 100% right now. And I'm like, I don't think it moves. I don't think the dang thing moves. And I'm like, I'm doing two lives a week, random lives, and y'all know my lives are not short. So I'm like, dang, this is hard. Compared to YouTube, like it's really hard to get monetized um, on your lives on Facebook. This one still has like dough on it and flour. How funny. Hello, Mary. Lisa, the stars are only on Facebook. Um, on YouTube, you can do, I think Tina or Aaron dropped the link to buy me a coffee. And that's a way of YouTube not getting a percentage of um, the, uh, super chats because YouTube has super chats, but YouTube takes a percentage out of those as well. Hey, Chris. Hey, Martha. We're going to Branson. I, we've never been to Branson and we want to go so bad and take the kids there one weekend. We said we would start doing a lot more of those things. Um, now that Momo's gone because with Momo, she was just she was a lot and we couldn't leave her to someone to watch her. So, all right, we're going to start off with salvation solution. You guys, I ended up, you guys, I put away my Waverly paints. I know let's take a moment of silence. Okay. We're done. Uh, for my Waverly paints, I took them out of the cart and cause I needed, um, more room. <laughs> for my DIY paints. And if you guys want any other products that I use paint wise are, um, if I use any of the DIY brushes, they're available on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. Lisa Christopher. Oh my goodness. It has been so dang long girl. Oh my goodness. It's like old friend popping in. We're going to use salvation solution. And that's just because, you know, rolling pins are oily and stuff like that. Um, you could also use uh, shellac on them. You can even prime them too with like a clear mat. I don't know what I'm doing, what brush I'm getting. Um, 
I think I wanted one of these. So keep that in mind as well. Oh, Roberta, I'm sorry. Customer service is like a huge thing for me. Yeah, the Waverly paint, I put them away. I did use one today on a project. I used plaster because I had a big container of it. And I was like, I don't want to waste my, my white swan on this. So... Your shopping trips with the uh, to the bins with Brie inspired me to stop today. Fascinating. All the people. Oh, my gosh. That was overwhelming. I'm not, like, I'm a social person, and I don't have, like, high anxiety, like, going into places or anything like that. But that place had me, like, it, I was uncomfortable there. Like, I did not want to be there, and I wouldn't probably go there again. It was just too much for me. Um, to dig through and stuff like that and then not to like find anything. And I didn't really think it was like an amazing deal. So for me, I probably wouldn't go back. Bree said that she would though. Thanks for switching over, Elizabeth. Mercedes says she had some good thrifting. Mercedes, how did your visit go for your, was it daughter's graduation? I'm sorry. I forgot. I know it was a child. So I'm just putting salvation solution on this just to hopefully block any oils coming through or anything like that. I think I damaged this brush. I left something on it way too long because it's weird and stiff now. But we will. And just warning, this does have a little bit of um, a scent to it. The Benz Kim are good. It's like from Goodwill. And I don't know if it's like the stuff that didn't make it to the shelves. If anybody else could chime in. I don't know if it's things that like didn't make it to the shelves or things that like didn't sell because it was just so much trash. So much trash in there. <laughs> um, it was kind of crazy. I was like, this is literal, like it, it was Tra like trash. And I was like, there has to be, I don't know. Sorry, Sandy, happy I'm in a life. I just did a rolling pin today. I liked how it turned out. Um, Sandy, if you have a um, Facebook, then join the Facebook group to show us all. Uh, Tiffany asks, how long will it be before you get another order of paint? Will you wait? Uh, no, we're actually going to do another order tonight, actually, and get, um, like something see how weird the brush can you guys even see that in this there's like a i don't know i don't know what's going on but yes i am going to restock tonight and i'm going to do like order more of the stuff that's selling out faster like the um the waxes and stuff because i just ordered 15 so i think i will like double that up just to have you know for all the time like it's something that I think is going to be used often and sell often considering I use it in so many projects that I should just have more of stock of that. Oh gosh, this stuff. Yeah, Lisa, you're lucky. And there's a lot of people I've been watching and their stuff is like really nice and really organized. Um, ours was not like that at all. And I'm so glad I wore gloves. Did I get that all the way around there? Sorry, I'm reading. I went to Goodwill the other day and was shocked at the prices. Try soaking your brushes and rubbing alcohol before throwing away. Okay, Gail, I will. This, yeah, I don't know. It's it's like it's um it's like the bristles are um like knotted. That's what it looks like. I think the bins are the things that didn't sell in the store, kind of like an outlet. Um I I agree with you. Kathy said that she feels like you get better prices at like independent thrift stores, which I completely agree with for sure. Hundred percent. 
I will say my Salvation Army, the one in Olathe, Kansas, they, if you find stuff on 50% off, it's a pretty good deal. And I find like random stuff there, but I think that one's pretty good. I found matching cuties and bought them thinking of you eight inch tall tea light holders that look like oil lamps. Ah, I love that. Thank you, Tina. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, please. If you like it, please leave me a thumbs up. Or mineral. I keep meaning to buy mineral spirits every time I'm in the dang hardware store. And then we'll get to the register and I'll be like, oh, that's what I forgot. I should have probably done. This one has flower on it. The handles too. It's fine. I think we'll be fine. No, I don't know. Um, I should have done that. Still can do the handles. Hi, Mary. I use a comb, comb back on my brushes when they get like that. I joined your Facebook page. Thank you, Debbie. Acetone may work as well to soften brushes and fix bristles if it's synthetic. Sammy, can you tell if it shows I joined on my side? It's all blank. I don't see anything. D, if you're talking about the membership group on YouTube, I can tell that you joined because your name is now green. Don't use acetone. Um, thank you, Mary, so much for the super sticker. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Mary. I really appreciate them. All right. I decided to do the handles. I just said I wasn't going to, and then I did it. Let me see if I could just speed up this drying process. I agree. Elizabeth said that she travels with her husband, and it really depends on the location because they can be night and day. Erin, I haven't used fire starter yet either. Tonight I'm going to use Salty Kiss, and I've never used that one either. Lice Comb. Okay. And Dawn. Hi, Kathy. All right. It dries really fast, so... I'm just using kind of whatever is left in my little bowl to get my handles. Just want to make sure that I don't have bleed through because there's nothing worse than putting some paint on and then there comes the bleed through and you're like, crap. I knew I should have done that beforehand and I didn't. And now look, now we got to do a coat and then paint again. So let's just do it the first time, right? Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, Brandon. I'll have to get a lice comb then. Jackie, the brushes haven't come in. And that you guys, what did Jackie, what did I say about the pre-orders? I said, I don't like doing them. Because you never know when things are going to get here. Because last time I ordered the brushes, they literally shipped the same day I ordered them and came in three days. This time they are taking full advantage of their five to eight shipping days. So they're going to be here on Monday. I already got all the paints pulled, the boxes ready. Just need to add those brushes and they'll be shipped out. So hopefully everything will be shipped out by Tuesday. At the least. So, promise I'll send them out right when they get here. They'll be packaged up. Hey, Erin. I saw your, I was watching your frame video today while I was listing things on my website. I, oh, Emily. Emily said the DIY brush cleaner is a game changer. I'll have to order that on this next um, restock. I have some terracotta. Ah, it already moved. Hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. Let me see what I have terracotta feet that I put under pots that sit on the tables of my deck. They are perfect for resting rolling pins on to dry. Oh, good idea. Mary said, hey, Provincial. That is Provincial Farmhouse's Erin. Gail, that makes me so happy. Gail said she loves her butter dish. I think this is like clinging to different places. Or did I not wipe it off that good? Because right here, it's kind of like ripply. Maybe that's where that sticker was. I could see it. No, it's just the ripple of the wood. I'm a weirdo. Taisha is a new member. Welcome, girl. Welcome to the members only club. If you guys could hit the thumbs up as you're coming in, I'd appreciate it. If you're on Facebook, if you could share, I'd appreciate it. All right. We'll put that back. A little bit goes a long way on this salvation solution, you guys. So you don't need to use a lot of it. I do too, Jackie. I was looking through my stash outside looking for like what I could DIY that wasn't um, a vintage one. And I was like, oh, I have quite a few vintage ones I need to list. My tummy was feeling icky before this. So <laughs> the first rule of member club is dot, dot, dot. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Um, the first rule of a member's club is to always do you, be you, for you. I know that wasn't as fun as like Fight Club, but you know. Uh, D, I love your rounds. Are you planning more anytime soon? I'm not sure since I just did one. It'll probably be like a couple more weeks before I do another one or a few more weeks. Since I only do two videos a week. And then thank you, Emily, for answering Kimberly. Sorry, you guys, if I'm not seeing all of the, the questions. And then how do you know if the rolling pins are vintage? You can look them up. Usually you'll know by like the handle. Some of them, if you find any that say fully on them, those are worth um, some money. And, um, but usually the, the handles, if it has this plasticky rim on it, it's very, it's modern. Um, but I've just gotten to know them by like looking them up, Google searching and stuff like that. Why are you weird and sticky right there? I don't know. We'll save this one till last. I'll prop this one up. I don't know what's going on with that one. Okay. I did go back to Dr. Fran and he said a sinus infection and he gave me some antibiotics and that was it. It's starting to break up though. I can feel it. Barbara's a new member too. Awesome. You guys, thank you, Donna. That's so kind of you. Thank you, Martha. I had it in my head. And now I need to put it on my door. But now at the old house, I didn't have to worry about my wood rounds on the door banging because we always went through the garage. But in this house, you don't go through the garage. You go, actually go through the front door. So now I um, need to put something on the back of it. Thank you for the stars, Kim. I appreciate it, girly. I really do. Okay. I don't know which one I want to put on which one. So I wanted to try this stamp but the inside of it on one of them because i think so this one would have to go oh let's see though 
So I'll have to go on like one of the bigger ones. And this one's pretty. I haven't used this one. This one's called the Bella Sam. And it has quite a few things. I like how it has these corner pieces. And then it has this one. So pretty. You guys, I'm going to stamp our front porch. I'm so excited. I'm going to stamp our front porches with DIY paint. DIY paint is water soluble. So... I am going to stamp it. I have not this one, but the other tile looking stamp from IOD. So I'm going to stamp it to make like a bigger rug and then put my rug in the middle. And whenever I want to change it up or if I don't like it anymore, I just take the hose to it and it'll come right up. I put a command strip on the back of my wood round and attach the bottom to the door. Well, Charlene, I would do that, but our door has one of those oval glass pieces. So it like sinks in. So it, the door is not flat. I found a rolling pin that is about 14 inches long and the middle that holds the handles is wood. I would imagine so, Billy. I would have to see a picture, but I would imagine. You could also do a Google search and just focus your Google search like on the handle part of the, the rolling pin and it should bring something up for you. I haven't tried faux marble. Let me see. Okay. I'm not, sorry, it's going to get... Loud. Ooh, here. And you guys, don't worry about ripping your stencils, okay? Are you excited about the next IOD release? I am. Especially because, you know, I'll just take this off. It'll be a lot easier. Um, because Debbie from DIY Paints is doing a collaboration with them for a paint and lay. So I can't even imagine what that's going to look like because, um, Debbie is just so like has an eccentric vibe, you know, to her. Okay. That's going to fit. So that's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off though, and I'm going to stick it on this one. So that I have a flat surface to work on. So we'll do that. But oh, Erin's already got to see the new release because she is an IOD stockist. I'm jealous. Um, Erin, isn't the release in fall, like September maybe? Yes, don't forget to sand it. Yes, Debbie is coming out with one, and I don't have to be an IOD stockist to sell the one that um, Debbie is collaborating with them on. So I can actually still sell it to you guys and not be an IOD stockist, but that's the only thing. So I. Oh, you know what? Well, there goes staining them. I didn't think of that. I could probably do dark. No, I want to do a color or something. Oh, you guys, what color? I know for sure I'm going to use Salty Kiss on one of them. And this one, I don't know. Hi, Diane. Not sure on the um, exact release date, but we're all placing orders for the new stock at the moment. I heard it was more towards like fall time, but you know what? I'm not a stockist, so I don't know you guys. Okay. What about like, should we go boring and do like Sandy Blonde and then this image in white? Or I want to do something fun. Um. What about a green and like a cream color? Something different. You guys know I like different. Um, maybe like aviary or gypsy green. I don't, ha I haven't used gypsy green. Okay, I'm doing it. I like how I ask you guys and then I do it anyways. 
And what if we rub and buffed the handles? Like gypsy green. We'll do like, we could do a cream color on this. <gasps> no. No, we can't do that. Rub and buff would be good. Um, bohemian blue with bright. Yeah. I like the bohemian blue. You never do boring. Cowgirl Corral and Gypsy Green. Uh, Old 57. So, Emily, I thought a penny is from heaven, too, but I feel like it, it'll be too bright of a color with the, if we do the green, the Gypsy Green. The Bohemian Blue sounds pretty, too, though. Yeah. All right, I'm going with my gut. I like how I ask, you guys know I ask you guys all the time for opinions and then I end up just doing whatever I thought in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, we got more to do, don't worry. I haven't used Gypsy Green, so I thought, you know what? This could be pretty. All right, let's set this to the side. And let's get our brushes out. What do I want to use on this? I do not know. This is too small. This might be too small. But I want to see how this dries down. Jackie said, if Erin wasn't so far away, I'd order my IOD stuff from her. I can, like, shake this more. What's going on right here? What's going on? Do I not shake it enough? This is, or is it the salvation solution that's making it look? It doesn't usually do that though. Hmm. I'm going to go with it and see what happens. What about the, la oh, who said the lavender with the coral? Oh, Jenny said lavender and coral. Oh, you guys are really putting some colors out there. Oh, man. I wanted to do the other rolling pin with Salty Kiss, which is a green, and then I chose a green. Dang it. Sammy. Should have just listened to you guys. But no. I can't wait to see what the gypsy green dries down to because I've never used it before. I've never used salty kiss before either. So we will see. It looks cam. It's going to dry down a lot different though. So let's do up here. Concentration, you guys. I'm concentrating. Concentration. Yee. So, you guys, I have to come up with a bunch of different... I guess I'm going to have to do thrift flips for Saturday's video. I was going to do outdoor DIYs, but um, the 30% chance of rain over here was rain all day. Hi, Mom. And then um, tomorrow it's supposed to be rain all day. So I'm not going to be able to finish my project. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, um, I don't have a video. So what can I flip? <laughs> what can I flip real quick? Um, that doesn't take a lot of thought, but that I could still, you know, put out there and look beautiful. So I'm going to have to go. You guys, I act like I don't have things to flip. Okay. Because we all know what my garage looks like, okay? All right. Let's... Well, at least I'm right there with you. Green is my favorite, too. Oh, I have a feeling this is drying down beautiful. 
It looks like baby food peas and avocado. Ooh, the fancy floral molds on the edge. I know, I thought about getting the molds out, but I was like, man, we'll be here for a long time if I start getting those molds out. We know how long that one piece took me, and I only used six molds on that thing. I'm going to do transfers on this other big one um, with Salty Piss. I have a vision. Yes, my mom already called me today and FaceTimed. Farmhouse Junction. Hello. Hey, Erin, you have somebody that is in your neck of the woods on. The metal planter with the Florida leaves. Oh, the one from tonight, Lynn. Have you ever mixed the colors together? Yes, Lisa, I did that. In my last video, I mixed Skeleton Key and Prom Queen together. And what else did I have on mix? I'm not sure. Everybody's saying it looks like baby food peas. It's actually a really soft. Oh, yeah. And then I try to make that. Ooh that sage green, but I feel like this is coming out looking almost like a sage green. Marbling two colors, yes. My mom said, I know what it looks like, Garage. You need to get that stuff on the air so everyone else can see it. She means buy it. She's like, you really need to sell some of this stuff. And I was like, I don't want to. This is my personal stash. That does not need to be that. I'm going to do two coats on this. Even if I wanted it to look distressed, it's like too um, streaky for my taste. Yeah, the green is drying up super light. It reminds me of, um, is it sage green from Waverly? No, not celery, the other one. Uh, is it sage? I don't know. There we go. It looks more like um, Molly. It looks like the, the one where I'm looking straight on. It looks more like that in person. You see? Nope, that just makes it dark. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It does on the light. It looks army green, but the one straight moss, yes, it looks like that. Yeah, that's the color it looks like right here. <laughs> I like how I'm pointing, but like it could mean the one I'm looking at the screen. That's what it looks like. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. I'm glad you guys choose to hang out with me over and over again. I really am. See, you guys, I got my fancy paintbrushes from DIY, but, like, I love my crusty, rusty chip brushes. I just love them. It looks like, yeah, Waverly Moss. That's what, that's what I'm thinking, too. It's really pretty when it dries down. I remember using DIY paints for the first time when Bree sent them, sent me, I forget which ones. I think she sent me and my first DIY paints were cake batter and farm fresh from Bree. And, um, I got them and I was like so excited, but I thought they were going to be the color that they look like in the container. And then I put them on and I was like, did I do something wrong? Why is this, this color? But then I learned that's just, that's just how the clay base paints dry down. My favorite color is candy apple red. Always love it. That is the first green I tried. Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I at? Okay. I like painting over the same things. Mm. I was like, am I going to distress this at all a little bit? But I feel like with that stamp, it's kind of fancy. So 
Uh, maybe I won't do that. I love the DIY paint. I want all the colors. That was my, that was my thing. Almost like a whitewashed or pickled Kelly green. Get this. Try not to get on the um, plastic part, but I could just wipe it off. That's what I love too. This stuff is so easy to wipe off. If you haven't cleared it yet, you can wipe it off anything. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay, got that. Dry brush white. I love emerald green. Yeah, um, Gloria, the emerald green is supposed to be this one, the salty kiss. So I'm going to try it and we're going to put some cactus on there. I have gypsy green in stock. And then I do have the salty kiss in stock. And we're going to see what that one looks like next. Cause I have not used that one. This is Jackie. This is the gypsy green. And then the one I just held up is salty kiss. Kathy said, I want them, but I have to sell stuff first. I have to learn to walk before I can run, but I really don't think it's going to take long. Good for you, Kathy. Always go at a slow pace. I remember when I first got into selling my wood signs, I went crazy, 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 because I was watching all these YouTube videos and they were like, oh, this is what works. And this is what works. Like I have every color of spray paint you can think of because a lot of videos I was watching, they were using spray paints. Well, spray paints weren't my jam. They didn't work for me. I found what worked for me. And now I'm sitting on a bunch of spray paints <laughs> that I will, mm, I mean, I use them, but you know what I'm saying? Yes, mom. I have the color in stock. Uh, Shanna said, I can't remember what green I just ordered from you, but I love all the greens. So do I. And I promise I'm going to do those swatches for you guys. I did the yellow swatches on the live on Sunday and I'm like, yep, this is what I need to do for all the colors. All right, Kathy, have a good night. Why don't you put the gypsy stamp on? Why don't you put the gypsy stamp on top of the salty kiss or vice versa? The gypsy stamp? <laughs> Jackie said, good advice. I should follow it, but I have a tendency to dive right in. Just not patient. Ask the hubby. That's awesome that you found a local retailer, Gloria. Yes, mom is definitely keeping me on my toes all the time. She's such a big help. Erin doesn't even sell the paint and she has chip color. She says that she painted four inch sticks with all the colors so that she knows what they look like dry. That's such a great idea. Oh, okay, okay, Tiffany. Gotcha. All right, this is almost dried down. Loving the color. Again, it looks more like what the view that you're seeing straight on. See, this is where I probably hold up our time because I should have just set this aside and then did the base for the next one and then moved on instead of wasting our time drying the pin. But you know what? Now I'm almost here. So huh? I gotta, I'm just going to keep going. Kim, yes. So I'll try and read. So you can see all of the um, comments from Facebook, but not YouTube and vice versa. So usually if somebody is, um, asking a question or something, I will read it out loud so that you guys aren't confused. 
I am just as impatient as all of you guys, for sure. Yeah, Gloria, the stamps are definitely pricey. The only thing I love about them, well, not the only thing, but is that they're going to last you for, I don't know about ever, but a long time and they're reusable. I have not touched a Cricut except to make reusable stamp, uh, stencils since I've gotten this stuff. So, um, did I say hi, Kendra? How was your anniversary dinner? Oh, Didi, I'm so excited. I'm going to get my briar real quick. So I'm going to use, huh? No, uh, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the way I usually do it. All right. Um, oh, my back is achy. I'm so old, you guys. I'm so old. All right. She got a falafel. I love the door you did on a video. Um, a door? Me? I'm like, you guys are starting to talk to Aaron too. So I'm like, are you talking to me or are you talking to Aaron? Are you used to have Facebook now? I'm listening to you on YouTube. It's a vintage retailer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... So you can use a briar to do this, you guys. I just didn't want to have to get the briar out and then get another sheet of something out and roll it on there. This one's just, it's easier this way for me anyways. I am going to get, I am a crinoline fan and I'm actually, did it actually start selling? Um, because it wasn't um, a big seller and crinoline to me is like the perfect creamy white you know like it's not too yellow it's not too white it um like if you guys like cashew by waverly it's like a step down from that it's not as yellow i don't know guys. baited burlap mm, okay i made up my mind <laughs> okay you guys if i just know right now if i ask for your advice i'm probably gonna go with my own advice okay it's just what i do it's just what I do. I just found a local retailer for the stamps. So happy and can't wait to start building my collection. I started with the crockery stamps. Love them. Tanya, that is actually um, how I started too, was those crockery stamps. I started, I don't even know whose video I watched. And they the crockery stamps were like the rage. And that's how I found Vonda was on Etsy. And um I, that's how I started my obsession. It started with that. And then, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I love these so much. So this is how I do it. You guys, I don't want to take the briar briar. I call it a briar, whatever you guys, you guys correct me anyways. But, um, Aaron said, I do the same thing. Sometimes you just need to talk through your options out loud. Exactly. Good night, Tiffany. Oh, she was saying good night, Denise. Good night, Denise. Um, Brian, how's it going, girl? Um, Marty, you should be able to find me by just um, looking up Unicorn Dust Designs on Facebook. It'll come up with our um, like Facebook group where you could like share your crafts, and then there should be the um, my business page, which is what I'm on live. So again, this is how I'm doing it. You do you if you want to use the brayer, briar, whatever it's called. Um, but this works for me. And then I don't have to take out as many tools and all that. I will say it kind of goes on heavy. So I will turn it around and kind of take the excess off of it. Oh, thank you, Taisha, for giving me a star. Stars. Oh, there we go. It's up there. 942. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, girly, so very much. Thank you for sharing. People say that. I'm going to have to look look it up. Because you aren't the only one that has said that they can't find my Facebook page very easy. I need, You know what? I should start putting it in the link of this video, too. Oh, see, I think this 
color is going to be really pretty against this green and kind of go with the vibe I'm hoping to uh, achieve here. We will see. <laughs> okay, so I got that down. Now I'm going to kind of just turn it around on the dry side and kind of go over it just in case I got like a bunch somewhere. Um, I don't want it to, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? I don't know. Can't find the word. I keep scrap plywood pieces and wrap and press and seal, put paint and roll away. Huh? I keep scrap plywood pieces and wrap and press and seal, put paint on and roll away, pull off and toss wrap when I'm done. Huh, Jackie? Did I miss a conversation? Sorry. I'm like, what? Where did you get your eight tall? Don't know about that. Um, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to try this out. I should probably give myself some room. And let's all wish for the best. Let's cross our fingers. Stamping rolling pins are hit and miss. I was following you way before you started going live a lot on Facebook, so I couldn't tell you why it's hard to find. I don't... Okay, is this straight? No, now it's straight, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. We're good. I think so. I think that's straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last time in my last video I did this, you guys, I started from down here and went up on the stamp. You don't want to do that. You want to get up on your stamp first and then start the rolling process. Oh, she means when you're using the brayer. Okay. <laughs> I like how you guys are, on, are picking up what each other are putting down because I'm like all over the place. Okay. So. I like how I'm using this, like it's straight or something, whatever. <sighs> what am I doing? It's always so nerve wracking. Okay. I'm going with it. All right. Oh, I like it. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's going to dry down. Look at that. Oh, you can see it better right here. That's pretty. Okay. And let's see what it looks like dried down. But first, I need to take this paint off of my stamp. Okay. Do not, if you're going to use your paint on your stamps, don't let it set. I mean, even though DIY paints are water soluble and all of that stuff, it's still not a good idea to let it set on your um, stamps very long. So, wipe them off. Take the time to wipe them off. I tend to stop watching you, right? It's nerve-wracking because sometimes it's like you have like an amazing um, outcome and then sometimes you're like, oh, dang, I messed that up. I mean, can you really mess it up? It's just paint, especially the DIY paints. Like if I really wanted to, I could wipe all of this off. I could just soak it and it would be gone. Okay. The only thing I don't like about the paint is it like kind of gets into the, um, the grooves and you can totally, like I've rinsed my stamps off before. All right. So that is good. We're good with that. And then I'm going to dry it down and I'm going to put my stamp away so we keep everything organized. Oh, Madonna said my daughter uses Rover. I have a discount coupon if you want to check on it. Let me know and I'll send you to do. Yes, Madonna, that would be awesome. When did you get your so nerve-wracking tall from? I'm sorry, Brandon. I am not understanding that. If you're asking why I'm so tall, I don't know. Keep in mind too, Paige, that like at um, Walmart sells them 
think I do there. Oh, because it was on top of them. For like four or five dollars or something like that. They're not expensive at Walmart. Like if you really wanted to do one. I also found Alice in Wonderland transfers from the brand Bells and Whistles. Never heard of them, but the antique store I went had nightstand with it. Oh, Bells and Whistles. I will definitely look that up. I love fun transfers. I'm not opposed. Oh, Aaron said Bells and Whistles is a line from Dixie Bell. You learn something new every day. Uh, Madonna, can you email it to me? Because I'll lose it in the chat. Yeah, I think so, Paige. And now Walmart has like, um, what do you call it? I think they have um, drop-off. You know what I'm talking about. Not drop. You know what I'm saying. Erin, would those transfers be like on the Dixie Bell website or is it like everything else where you have to find a local retailer? I don't know what that is. Thank you, Erin. Yeah, this showed up nice. I really like the faded burlap on here. Like I said, faded burlap, if you're accustomed to Waverly, it would be almost like sandstone. Jackie Rover is a dog sitting app. When we leave to California, um, we need someone to watch the dogs. I thought I had somebody and then she didn't realize where she lived, where we live. So she couldn't do it. So now we're back to the drawing board and I've kind of, I've had to resort to using Rover. They're just really expensive. I used IOD ink on my stamps, but not the paint. Yeah, you can definitely use paint. Just make sure you clean it up afterwards. Dixie Bell will have them, but so do other retailers. Okay, good to know. App page, it's a collection that took over five years to accumulate. Kendra, did you hear me for Rover? It's just a dog sitting app where you could find like local people that like will dog sit or come to your house. Thank you, Shanda for um, switching on over. Gotta go. Bye, Mary. Is that, or is that, gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so that is now dry. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna do anything else to the rolling pin itself, but I do wanna try rub and buff. I ain't gonna lie. These, uh, I don't know if it'll do its thing though considering I um, I put that clear on there. So let's see. I just feel like it needs something, you know? I don't know if it'll stick to this though. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Just stop it. guys so when you guys watch my videos <laughs> this is me crafting when I'm like super excited about something and I'm like oh my gosh it's working it's coming out um I can't say I've ever used rub and buff either um the only reason I have it is because I thought I was going to do all of our kitchen pools with it and um I couldn't find what I wanted. So we ended up not doing it. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm sure I'll use it in my craft room at some point. And here we are. Now, does anybody know, can I put this on with a paintbrush and it'll do the same things? Same thing. I mean, oh, this rub and buff is stinky. <sighs> yeah, this stuff stinks, man. If you are sensitive to smells, do not use this. Jeez Louise. Um, yeah. Can you use? Yes. Okay. Cause I can't get in the, um, 
in the the crack right there. Okay. Let's get a little pointy brush. Let's see if that will work. I got my rolling pins from Salvation Army, from um, Savers. I'm trying to keep it off of that plastic part. I mean, I should, maybe I could even cover the plastic part, but then I chance getting it on the, um, the rolling pin. And it's not really even like, I'll brush it on there a little bit, but it's not showing up like the actual handles are. Oh, you guys, look at how fun that is. Look at that. Is that not fun? This one is the color antique gold is what I'm using right now. Just harder con to control with a brush. Oh man, this smells giving me a headache and I am not very sensitive to smell. But that is um, intense. You know what, maybe I'll do what I'll do. That didn't make much sense, Sammy. You know, I'll get down here first and then I will just go back and rub it on the top. See, you guys, I had a, I had a vision. I had it with this color and this stamp. It's crazy how your thoughts come together, you know? Thank you, Brie. Really? Jeez Louise. Madonna, I guess so. I was telling the doctor, I was like, man, I must be getting old because I never had sinus issues. I mean, I've never had, I've never had a sinus headache ever. And that was like so intense. And I still get a little bit of it. And I was like, I hope this doesn't like become a, a thing, like a new thing for me. Sorry if I missed a question. Looks like Aaron's answering. So thank you so much, Aaron, for answering questions. And I think the those alchemy waxes I have, you guys, too, that are like different colors. I think these act those act like a rub and buff too. I just really wanted to use the rub and buff because I've never used it before. So, all right. Did I get all of it? I think I did. Dixie Bell Gilding Wax. Okay. Kathy, I do have a sinus infection. I'm taking an antibiotic for it right now. Oh. What? So it will draw the smell. Thank you, Shanda, for the stars. Thank you so much. Hey, Cricket. Bye, Dee Dee. I look forward to those pillow. Oh, I guess it does not. You guys, probably we shouldn't use it with our fingers, huh? When, oh man, Rosalinda said that, Rosalinda said that um, when she turned 50, she started suffering from sinus. No, I just don't want to get this on anything else, but I think we're good. Um, all right. So now I'm just going to wax the, um, the actual pin. You could also do, um, I'm like literally like, wow, that stuff is intense. Gotta clean my nose out. 
the older I get, the more allergy I get. Kathy, I, I feel for you. I don't like not that I know what you're going through, but like just what I've been experiencing to have to deal with that your entire life. Like, I'm so sorry because it's painful and it's uncomfortable. And frankly, it puts me in a bad freaking mood. Not like right now, but just like this, the pain and stuff I had been going through. It just makes you like a whole nother person. Yes. So I kind of like, do you guys think we should do the uh, clear wax or the big top? The big top is going to make it look um, almost like glossy and it's going to darken up our paints again. The clear wax is going to, um, it'll look dark at first, but it'll lighten back up. Vix helps with sinus. My mom said we should. Singular, best for sinuses. I'm allergic to antihistamines. Oh. Oh, man. All of these. A neti pot. Clear wax. Okay. So many options. I'm like, why? Did I put? Nope. Clear wax. Okay. Bree, thank you for the stars, girly. Thank you guys so much for the stars and the buy me a coffees. We really do appreciate it as a family. Um, I don't want to have any issues opening this back up. So um, I have to say that I'm a fan of this green. I had never used it before. And I'm a fan. Singular for sure. Eat a cup of blueberries a day. Thank you, Carly. I appreciate it. Carly said, love your recent um, wood round. Very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know how there's just some things you know that you're good at? Like when I craft other things, like I don't think I suck. But it's like that, you know, like, oh, am I doing this right? Is this good enough? But there's something about working with wood that I just always feel confident with. Like, I just feel like I know what I'm doing. I know that I could, like, do good. I don't know. It's weird. But thank you, Aunt Tony, for the stars. All right. So let's go ahead and wax this up real quick because I really want to try that salty kiss. Um, and then you guys, I'll start getting smarter about these lies. How I was saying, like, I should have let this dry to the side so that I could be working on something else. That way, um, we could be moving through these projects. That's my problem. I'm like sitting here waiting for things to dry with you guys instead of like, all right, let's move on. Um, remember you guys, I will order all of this the clear wax um right after this actually we're going to put in another order so hang tight with me i'm still learning what y'all are wanting and needing and how much i'm supposed to get of everything so and i think too it was you know a first release and a second release that people like miss from the first one. So I think it'll start kind of slowing down and it won't be so like hard to get a hold of things, you know, if you can't order, you know, right away. So, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if I keep selling out, but, um, you could only go through so much paint. <laughs> hmm. Recognizing your talent is a blessing mama. Yes. This is the green, Kendra. This is the green. This is gypsy green. Gypsy green. And I love it. And then faded burlap is what I used on the stamp. 
So I will get this on and then I will get a paper towel and just kind of wipe off any of the extra excess so that it dries nice and doesn't take forever. I'm not going to put it on the hand. I don't know. Do you clear rub and buff? I, like I've said, like I've never really um, used it. So I don't know if it's something that you have to clear. I mean, like it's not coming off on my hands, but I don't know. Do I clear it? No. Okay. I was painting a basket with that green today. It's beautiful. Definitely a good springy color. I think that'll be good in fall too. You know what color? It's going to sound weird, but that I'm looking forward to using in fall is cherry picked. And it's going to sound crazy, but I think that's going to be one of my colors for fall. Cherry picked summer crush. Maybe layered chocolate. Maybe with, I don't know, but it's going to be a whole vibe. Okay. It's going to be a whole dang vibe. But for some reason, cherry picked is like standing out in my mind. Oh, why did I throw that away? Okay. I'm going to wipe that excess off. My doctor kept telling me it was sinus and I got sick of it and got allergy tested and cried when my ENT told me what it really was being caused by. And they give you samples so you don't wait. Somebody else told me to go to um, and get allergy tested, especially too, because we moved somewhere um, with land. So now we have like all of the trees and all of that stuff like out there. So if that doesn't work, allergy shots really work. <laughs> Bohemian blue is so pretty. Those candles that I thrifted tonight, if you guys didn't see the thrift haul, Make sure to watch it. I cannot wait to do the same concept that we did the last candle six in, but like just trying a different color. So here it is. It's going to lighten back up, of course, but look at how pretty it looks with those handles. Like how gorgeous. And I think it's just so fitting for the stamp. Like how gorgeous is that? And I love that, like, it looks a little lighter in some places. So, Jackie, you crack me up, girl. Do you feel like you want to cut your face off, Kathy? I did when it was really bad. Right now, it's the smell. I think it's the smell because I did not have a headache before that rub and buff. Um, okay, so we'll set that there and now we're going to do another green. Sorry, we should just do all greens, I guess, um, because I'm dying to open up this salty kiss. This is weird. I think it's the rolling pin itself. It still has like a tack to it. I'm ordering tonight, Paige, and I'm not sure because I don't think this order is going to be as big as we have been and those have been coming on like straight pallets on freight. So hopefully weathered wood is gorgeous. Hopefully it'll be a lot sooner than it has been. All right. So this is salty kiss and it is supposed to be an emerald green. I think Sherry rub and buff, I think does come in copper. And I have these, and I think they're the same thing except a different brand. They're called Alchemy Waxes, and I got them from Bonda at the Painted Heirloom, and they legit come in, like, every color and, like, um, what do you call it? Like, actual colors, like blue, green, all of that, too. Good night, Roberta. Have a good day tomorrow. <laughs> Cake Lady said, hey, Erin, if you and Sammy would do a video a day, I would watch every single one 10 times a day. I enjoy your flips. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh. The first green was Gypsy Green. 
Okay, so let's get to this. Let's try. I am so excited to try this. Okay. This is like reminding me of a um, St. Patrick's Day green. However, we all know that it dries down different. Inspired curiosities. Those waxes are made by Prima. They are amazing. My fingers look like rainbows at the moment. They smell so good. Those waxes smell so good. So inspired curiosities. Um, are they the same as like a rub and buff? Because I've used them, but I've never used rub and buff. So like, would they be comparable? Okay. This will be interesting. I'm excited. So I'm just reading your comments. Can you open Monet's garden beside that, please? Yes, Kathy, I will. Right after I'm done, I could set this down. I will definitely do that for you. Monet's garden is going to be like a dark, dark green. Do I have anything I've painted recently? I used the crapola out of Monet's garden for Christmas. Yeah, there. so the alchemy waxes are permanent once they're dried as well. And those come in tons of colors, tons and tons. And yeah, the smell of them is amazing. I don't mind, I don't mind putting those all over my hand because then I smell them all day. Hope you don't get allergies. I hope I don't either. And I'm sorry for everybody that has sinus issues. Because it is not fun. And then I'll get one of these again. And do our top piece. Making sure not to get that area. All right. All right, you guys, I have to ask you a question. And, and I don't know, but I have to ask you guys a question because I know you guys are always so straight up with me. Lisa said her, I think aviary is my favorite of the green, but the gypsy is a close second. Like I said, I will start doing side-by-side -side swatches. Um, just need to find the time and then I'll post them with the paint colors on the website. So you guys know like, oh, okay. Gypsy green is this versus this, you know? So my question for you is one, what do you think a hack is? What do you think a hack is? When you see the word hack on DIY videos, what do you think a hack is? Would love to know your guys' opinions on that. Paint wooden spoons with sample colors. Yep. Something that makes your life easier. Okay. A simpler way of doing something. Okay. Sorry if I'm hunching so much. My back is hurting. Easier way or better way of doing something. A very useful or helpful idea. Um, a copy, a cheaper version. <laughs> Kendra, can I laugh? Um, I think hacks oh, are like tricks or shortcuts of things. Means shortcuts. A shortcut or a cheaper way to get a specific result. It's when you find a cheaper or easier way to do something. Hey, Susie. Easier way to do something or shortcut. Alternative way to get your DIY goal. Easier way of doing something or a take on something. Jackie said, yes to all the above. A hack to me is an item that makes life easier. DIY hack videos are not actual hacks. 
used to be called tips. My computers. I don't need you. Okay. Using something for a different purpose than it was intended. All right. Thank you guys for that. To me, a hack is an inexpensive copycat of a product or a procedure. Okay, just reading, catching up. Okay, so I asked that because, and it's Kendra from Late Night Creation said she had to laugh because Kendra and I talk on the phone all the time and um, my YouTube channel isn't getting, you know, the views that it used to get. So, you know, I'm racking my brain, like, what can I do? Like, what what should I be doing differently? What can I do better? Like, you know, what am I missing here? And I like, you know, start group going through and then see, look, I don't know what that's from, but you see that that came through. We even used the salvation. So I'm not sure what that is, but remember I told you this one had something weird going on with it. It had, it was like, it, that tackiness wouldn't go away. So I don't know what that is, but we'll cover it up. You just watch. So do you guys see this screen? It looks like the image of my face is how it definitely looks. It looks pretty good up here too, though. But it's definitely like an emerald green color for sure. I wonder if we should paint the handles color. And then I'm like, yeah, it's too streaky. I think I'm going to do. Um, so what I was saying was I was trying to look for different, you know, just ideas of how I can do better, like how I can get more views on my video. So I was researching and just looking at like other crafters and like, you know, what they're doing and stuff. And I'm noticing the videos that are getting the most views are using the word hack on their thumbnail. Now to me, I've always thought a hack was taking something and making your life easier. So like a, a kitchen thing, you know, or something like that. I don't, I've never considered a DIY as a hack. So I've always felt weird putting that on my videos because I don't want to be a liar. <laughs> and I was telling Kendra this, I go, maybe it's a personal thing. Like, I don't want to lie to people. I don't want them to come to my channel or click on my video thinking they're going to get one thing. And then it's not that. And Kendra was like, to me, I think it's kind of like um, a helpful hint or something, you know? And I was like, I guess I never like thought of it that way. So I wanted to ask you guys, cause I'm like, should I try putting hack on my videos to see like, is that gonna make people click? I don't know. Paint the handles in Monet's garden. Use the keywords like the hacks, DIY, Dollar Tree, DIY, those seem to pop up on my feed all the time. It is sad, but you need to use them. Um, good night, Judy. I'm still learning, but I find using the research tab in YouTube studio helpful of what people are interested in searching for. One of my biggest pet peeves with content is people who says all Dollar Tree DIYs and they use literally one item from Dollar Tree <laughs> is tricks. Oh, that's true. Cakes, cake supply lady said you actually are doing hacks when, especially when you marry two pieces together. I think it depends on the context. Like you could do crackle and say it's a hack, making something look old without having to have an antique. That's true too. See, thank you guys. Like it's nice running this by you guys because you know, we have an idea in our head and sometimes it's not the right idea. So I appreciate you guys like 
feeding me like this stuff. Personally, I love it when you are real. Show the mistake. Embracing using the mistake might be the hack. I'm trying to read. I have not heard of that, Natty. Natty. Natty said, have you ever heard of Hints by Heloise? Is that it? <laughs> that is very true. So maybe I could do like a, like, can I do like candlestick hacks or hacks using glassware for, like from the thrift store or things like that? Yeah. Painting hacks. <laughs> I'm just throwing things out at you guys as if they're coming to my head. <laughs> All right. I want to put a cactus transfer on this. So this might like totally come out and we're like, what is going on? I think I might paint the handles black. I don't know. So many people, so many videos recently use the word hack. I don't watch them because it's like a new word that everyone seems to use now. And it bugs me because they rarely seem to be a hack. And April, that's, you know, what I, ooh, I know this is a was telling Kendra that like, I feel deceiving by putting hack when I think it means something else. Um, but it seems to be almost like the new word people are using for DIY, you know, because when you click on those videos, those are DIY. So, I don't know. I think that the word hack also has a sense of it being easy for someone else to do. So, it may be more appealing to people. Yeah. I like this green wet better than dry. And then if you do like it better wet, Diane, you could just um, use Big Top with it. And then it'll get darker once again. Hi, Jordan. I think hacks within the DIY spectrum are like using Elmer's glue instead of crackle medium to create the same effect or using cinnamon to create a rusty look. Yep. All right. See, just got to think of it differently, I guess. Good night, Sherry. They are using the wording high end too. I've been watching you for years. I love you and I know lots of other people do. I started watching you when you did DT crafts, but it's the same thing with thrift store stuff. Show how you can take cheap stuff everyone can find in a thrift store and make it gorgeous. Yes, Jody. <laughs> this thing is like searching Dollar Tree stuff. My computer, it thinks I'm talking to it. Simone said that I think you are right that it has been redefined. So now appropriate to use. Good night, Mary. Thanks for joining me. I learned how to clean my chandelier without removing the crystals. But that was hard. Am I getting something or is this oils coming through? I don't know if I'm getting something on this somewhere. Oh, maybe. Maybe what's happening is I got that, um, the clear wax on, um, this surface when I was slinging it on. That's probably what happened. Madonna, I've been putting everything, girl. I've been putting everything on my titles, on my thumbnails, and it just doesn't seem to click with anybody. So... Good afternoon. Lunchtime at work. I just finished some rolling pins using... Pintart 
fine line crackle. What in the word is that? Now I've got to look it up. I can handle the word hack better than the quote high end. Tiffany, I shamefully put high ends on a, a recent video, like two videos back. And seriously, that's the one that got the best views in a long time, which was crazy. But it is the one that got the most views. Uh, this is Salty Kiss. Charlene said, your loyal fans don't care, so put whatever works for you. Thank you. I don't like being like everyone else. Having to fit into YouTube's box, my channel may never be big because I like to do my own thing. And see, I think all of you guys know that I do my own thing and I love what I do, but this is my full-time job. So at the end of the day, I made this my full-time job basically right when I started because I was making good money and um, now it's kind of like, you know, it's my business. So I have to find the ways if I have to put hack on it to get like somebody to click on my video, then I might have to do that because, or I'm going to have to find other means. Um, it's okay to put high end when they're actually high end. Uh, sorry. April, I can't wait to do new patriotic crafts. <laughs> I'm just reading your guys' comments. Uh, Tammy said, if anyone accuses you of being a liar, we will defend you. Thank you, Tammy. At this point, I'm like down to try anything. You know, like if I put hack on one dang thumbnail and it does well awesome and if it doesn't do well then at least i know you know what i'm saying like i guess i could try if the videos aren't getting views now like what's it gonna hurt <laughs> natty by um try labeling a hat yeah that's what i'm gonna do i think i'll try labeling a hack and see what happens i roll my eyes and won't watch a video if it says high end unless it's someone i always watch and especially if it says dt high end um I'm waiting for 4th of July. That's my yearly decor. Um, all right. So what I wanted to put on this, I don't know why I thought green, well, duh, and cactuses. <laughs> I was like, why did I think of green and the cactuses? Uh, because cactuses are green. But I have this one and it's Desperado and I've never even opened it, you guys. And this has some beautiful images like this one. I need to take a wood sign out and do this one. It would look so gorgeous. I have an idea for this one too, but I saw the cactuses. Uh, Susie said, I click on hacks because I believe in working smarter, not harder. Um, I'm gathering goodies for patriotic things. I have been Pinteresting the crap out of patriotic things. Like I'm totally vibing it right now. Do a hack video for how to age brand new items, vinegar to easily rust metals, cinnamon to distress and age, etc. A whole video themed around making new things look old and crusty. Caitlin, that's a good one. Do I have a pin? I don't even have paper. Nowhere. Not one. Oh, you know what I have? I have a book. I have a book. What did she say? I'm going to write that. I love that. A hack on how to age brand new items. <laughs> you like this. You like that, all right? Okay, we got that, you got that, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> all right, set that to the side. 
take a screenshot of the comment. <laughs> I should have, but I'm using my camera. I guess I could have taken a screenshot. Whatever. It's fine. Thank you. Okay. Some hacks are awesome, but some just make a simple thing or task harder by using different products. Maybe cheaper, but not easier. Okay. What am I doing? What did Joanne say? Old page, old patriotic stuff. Yes, I love old patriotic stuff for sure. I love it. Bree said, "A driven woman brainstorming with other driven women is beautiful to watch." I agree. All right, see these cacti? Let's use them, and then I could cover whatever is going on right here, and. Um, I definitely want to use this guy right here. So let's get out the scissors and we could use it. I wonder, hmm, I'm going to like cut in between these pages here. I wonder how it would look putting them like, you know, face up, one face down. This one almost looks like it's sticking up a middle finger at us. <laughs> Thank you for sending me the screenshot. Okay, so I know for sure I'm going to use this one right here because I want to cover up. Um, no, Jackie, I'll show you the whole book. Oh, and then you know what? Somebody asked me about. I'm trying to hide that oil spot. Now, with the pins. You can just hold them down and go for it. I know I would have to buy another house for all the supplies I'd buy if I could afford them. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, so hold on. Are you there? I told, okay, Monet's Garden, somebody wanted to see, sorry. I hope you're still on. Monet's Garden and Salty Kiss together. Oh, I haven't used you since Christmas. I missed you. I haven't shaken them. But that is Monet's Garden and that is Salty Kiss. So you can see definitely a difference there. Hmm. You could always tell when you haven't used your paints in a while. So I think getting the sample sizes, I'm glad that DIY carries the eight ounce ones because like sometimes you don't get through like certain colors that fast. I did use a whole sample size of uh, sea glass though. And now I'm like, dang it, I should have bought the 16 ounce, but you know what it is, what it is. Um, okay. I'm going to do this one and then I'll show you the, the book. Jackie. So I'm going to start from the top on this one just because of the link. Now, some people clear it and then put their transfer on, but I usually don't have any issues doing it without. What do I do? Yeah, I'm fine. Without putting a clear on. And if you see some of your transfer come up, just put it back down. I probably should have started from my side, but we're fine. We're fine. Everything's going to be fine. You could use like letter stamps on these. The possibilities for rolling pins endless. What about you guys? Um, thrifted dupes, and I mean like I could dupe, like actually make the dupes, 
Um, but like thrifting, like showing you an item and then showing you a thrifted item. That's exactly like it for a fraction of the cost. You know what I'm saying? Does that, are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I do like the dupes because it's fun seeing how we can make the more expensive things at a low cost or in a dime, it's a great challenge. Do your dupe videos get a lot of views? They used to. I haven't done a dupe video in a long time um, because it, with my style lately, the like kind of like French country and all that, I haven't really like found anything that like speaks to me, I guess you could say. But I did go on McGee & Co. Didn't even know that was like a website. My friend was like, hey, can you like dupe some of these things from McGee & Co.? And I was like, never heard of it. What is it? And went on there and I was like, oh, I like this stuff. Thrifted dupes would be fabulous. Kathy, did you see the salty kiss in the Monet's garden that I hold up? Yes. Dupes inspired by your fave high-end stores. One video for Hobby Lobby, another for Kirkland's. Yes. Because I find so many things like the other day, I forgot where I found them. I think it was at Savers and they were some brass candlesticks and literally they look exactly what's on um, Magnolia right now. And they were $1.99 each. And I don't know if you've seen the cost of those brass candlesticks on their website, but they're not inexpensive. And I was like, oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun to just like show you guys like, oh, we can get these high end products at the thrift store. Yeah, I have some oil still coming through on this. Do you see that? So, I don't know what's going on with this one. But that's all right. I could always distress it down too, like after I'm done putting the image on. But that's fun, ain't it? So, I was thinking, would it be fun to like get another one and put it like upside down and kind of like alternate them? Um, you're so funny about how you say you're struggling for views. You get tons of views. Everyone loves you and you have tons of subscribers. The fact that you can live off of this stuff is fantastic. Molly, I am so like, don't get me wrong. I'm fortunate of the views that I, I do have. I'm just saying it's compared to what it was last year. It's about half of the views that I had last year. So that really impacts my, what I'm making monthly, um, on YouTube. So I am so grateful for you guys that show up and support me and cheer me on and encourage me and stuff. It's more just like the difference of the views last year versus this year and how it's affecting my income. I know I'm, I'm so blessed and fortunate to be doing this as a career. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. This might be fun. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'll show you what's in the rest of the book. Find some really ornate, truly high-end stuff that's really expensive and get something plain and then paint it, add molds, stamps. Yeah. Does anyone have the store called Five and Under where you live? Five and Below? Okay. So this is the, um, what is this? Desperado. Vicki, I've only done the one and then I started another one. So there's this image and where's the other one? There's another one of it. So they could either connect or you could do half and half. I don't like the cactus for this. That's okay. Everybody has different styles. I just thought it would be fun with the green. We got the florals the bison and a little saying, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail Emerson. And then there's the other side. And then there's just, there's two pages of these on here. So that's the booklet. I have cousins in Arizona. They would love the cactus on it. Yes. Sorry if I'm missing questions, you guys. 
Oh, wait. Hello, you're still using those. All right. I know. I think I have an idea for the roses with this beautiful quote I found. Um, it's, I don't, I don't know the quote, like word for word, but something along the lines of, um, flowers are a way of showing you that like the storm was necessary. I don't know if anybody knows it, um, and can actually say it, but it's something along those lines. And I feel like it's very fitting for us right now. And I would love to make a wood sign um, with that saying and maybe use these flowers. If you sealed this, could you still use as a relief? And no, Gail. Not that I know of. I mean, the paint itself is food safe. Polyacrylic is food safe when it properly cures. But the, like, washing it and stuff, I, I don't know. Oh, my gosh, Tanya. You're so lucky. Tanya said a property they moved in had, like, five outbuildings. Moving from California where he had no yard to 80 acres. Girl, we feel you. We were born and raised in California. We fill you on that. Now I'm trying to get my mom and dad to move out here. Western wear decor ranch folks would love these. Thank you. Ooh, looks like you have a neighbor, Tanya, Kendra. So you can see these are so easy. To work with and again I don't usually seal my paint before I use my transfer but it's hit or miss too like there's times where sometimes it doesn't grab on or it's or it takes my paint but uh usually it does not Yay, get there all right here we go this one's just fun and different. I thought with the color. And you know what? I'm probably going to darken this up with the big top just because it's bleeding through whatever oils were on here. Ooh, so that's two. I don't know if I could fit. No, I don't know if another one would fit. It would look weird. There's that little tiny one, but it won't fit like right here. And then I don't want them facing the same way. Unless I put it like, no. No, nope, I'm going to leave it. Stop playing with it. Jeez, you guys. Okay. What do you guys think about painting the handles black? Too much? Okay. While we're waiting on that. <laughs> No, it's not that one, Erin. I have a screenshot of it. I wonder if I could click off of this. If it will. Hold on. Oh, cool. Hold on. I took a screenshot of it because I want to make it and watch. I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, here it is. May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. That is what I want to, um, oh, now I gotta, whoop, there we go. That is what I want to make into a sign. Uh, what about the line of diamonds in the gap? Oh, I get what you're saying. Ah, you know I'm down to always add extra, okay? You know. Oh, I wonder if it's... Maybe this one could work. Because these are too, I think, wide. Hmm. 
yeah, that'll be cutting it too close, but I definitely think we could use this. Good idea. Whose idea was that? Black in distress. Yes, I agree with you. Lynn, okay. So we'll do this one. Making sure I'm not cutting through another page there. I'm just going to cut the whole thing out and then I can put the rest back. And then I'm going to do the black handles in distress because we are extra here. And you know what? It's just pink. So why not just, just go with it, you know? No, no stars in here, I don't think. Or there's those show stars. So where's the stars at? Were there stars, you guys? No? That's weird. Oh, it's on this one. Sorry, I didn't show you guys the page. It's this one we're missing. That's the stars. So that's the last page. I haven't seen the new Prima. Okay, we'll put this baby right here. So, do I want to put it in now? I'll put it at like the very end. Yeah, kind of showed me. All right, there we go. Oh, dang, I need to put that back. I'm sorry. H2O transfers? Oh, like water slides? All right, yeah, perfect. Maybe one of these two would be like right here. Yeah. Oh man, I made it too short. What the heezy, man? That's all right. It's okay. Amazing ones and new molds. I need to go look. I keep asking Brie if she's ever going to carry the molds because she started carrying the transfers and stuff, but she doesn't use molds very often. So or I don't know if she does at all. Um, I don't think she does. But I was like, you need to start selling those, girl. I mean, I love my IOD molds, but um, Prima is a little bit more inexpensive. Um, I will say, though, that Prima molds, I feel like, are a little harder to use because they don't have that, they have a name, but I call it the lip of the mold where it's, like, easier to, like, push it out. They're very flat, and I have a hard time, like, getting my mold in there. Oh, yeah, that's true, Paige. But I think we'll be fine. Hopefully I didn't put it on too crooked. This one's definitely out there as far as design and rolling pins go, but eee, I broke it off. That's all right. Nope, there we go. Just got to line it back up. We're fine. We're fine. Nobody panic. Don't panic. We're good. Are you good? I'm good. We're good. I'm going broke too. I just bought six new Prima molds. Fina, is it Finnabar? Finnabar just came out with 10 for them. She's the one who does the art alchemy waxes. She's great. They're not as deep either. Yeah, Melinda. Like I like them and I like the designs. I have quite a few like that. Uh, I thought I was going to use it a lot more, but the rabbit one, love it. I even found one, you guys, 
Prima has a piggy one and I found it on Amazon and there was only like three left, but I was like, am I really going to, this is totally crooked. I don't know. Somebody will appreciate the handmadeness of it. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's kind of crooked. Oh, well. All right. I will do black and then I will do like clear the whole thing. So black for DIY paints is going to be a little black dress for your pure black. What about some landscape, dude? Tanya's getting all into it. She's like, add it, add it, add it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I think we want this. I'm just trying to think what brush I'm going to use. I'll use this one. Uh, this has been awesome ASMR. I'm headed to bed. Good night, Bree. Hey, Rebecca. We're neighbors, kind of, sort of. All right. So I'm not, like, trying to get everything covered. It will definitely be a messy coat. Oh, let's not get it everywhere because... I'll probably end up distressing it a little bit more with a baby wipe. I just, you know, it drives me nuts. The, um, you guys like how I finished my sentence? <laughs> uh, this part right here, it's like, I have to get closer to the bottom. It almost looks like unfinished, even though we're distressing it. I don't know, you guys, you know, I'm weird. All right, we have our corks, right? Okay. Well, this ended up just not really looking distressed. So we will come back in with a baby wipe. Sorry, my head's probably in the way. You're like, yeah, um, I would love to. Okay, I must have wax on here because you see now it looks like a smeared thing. So that's what's happening. So I probably should have changed that because that's probably going to show through. But it is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. All right. Using this little brush to just get in there at the base. So it looks like a nice finished product. How much resin does it take for a bird song? Well, oh, girl, I don't know. I just, if you guys are using molds, I just realized that on the IOD molds, it tells you how much um, resin you need to use them. And I never realized that. I don't know what I was watching. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You're a perfectionist. That's why. <gasps> oh, Aaron, you wipe the Vaseline off your finger on the puppy pad. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. Well, Sammy, lesson learned. Don't do that. Um, maybe I could just stress on the pin where those wax marks are before I clear it. That's what I'll do. And then maybe it'll kind of hide that. It's just paint. Yep. It's just paint. Just let it happen. All right, we'll just this. this. And then we'll distress it and clear it. Just bought some IOD molds. Thank you, Mommy and Olivia. 
Good night. I haven't used the fairy door ones either, Charlene. I knew that was gonna be a hard one for me to wrap my head around just like decor wise. So. Like I could see them outside, but um, yeah, decor. Don't really know. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, we're just having fun with some, you know what? And before I move on, let's let's just roll this up here. Let's, there we go. Okay. And then let's grab a baby wipe. Uh, you guys. I'm going to have to come up with a whole video tomorrow for Saturday. I know I could do it. I could do easy thrift flips just for that video and then come up with something rock star for, jeez, I got that Vaseline everywhere, you guys. Oh, all right. I'm going to just try and get in those spots and just dress it down so it looks like so we can't see him anymore. And I think I've said a couple times that DIY paint is water soluble. So until you clear it, you can work with it. Okay. So I probably still have stuff on my, I actually kind of like how this dressing looks. Yep, I like that. We got a lot up here. Yeah, we have like a lot of trees on our property and I thought of having the kids, you know, decorate them and stuff like that and get them outside. Oh, oh, went a little heavy there. Went a little heavy there. I used two coats, so it's getting a little. There we go. Get some, get some up over here. Come on. All right, there we go. Oh, thank you, Kathy. All right, where else do I feel like I need something right here? It's too plain. All right. Now I will do these handles. Make sure my hand doesn't. I got the mushroom ones too. I do like the mushroom ones. I've used them a couple times now. Um, I haven't found that I've used the, um, what do you call it? The one with like the hummingbird and stuff like that. I haven't used that one very often. Do you see how much easier the one coat like came off versus the, the two coats that I put with the green? Oh, oh, hello. Got a little rough happy right there. And took a little more off than I wanted to. Okay, lightly, Sammy, lightly. That's all right. It's supposed to look uneven and all that. So let's. Thank you, Elizabeth. Said she's loving both of them. Making Christmas ornaments out of mushrooms? You're already making Christmas stuff, girl? 
Oh, look at that. That oil on it. Well, you know, it didn't come out exactly like I thought it would, but <laughs> it was still fun. Uh, I can't believe in two hours we only did two rolling pins. <laughs> I need to pick up. I need to work on. Yeah. ahead and coat the handle over here and you can see like it's starting to darken it up so this is going to give it like a shiny finish I made bobbles the other night with resin itching to do some Christmas decor uh, Jody the fairy doors everybody are that people are talking I see this as well you don't um, dip your brush into your product because it does transfer sometimes. Um, the fairy doors from, it's not called fairy doors. I forget what they're called, but IOD came out with some molds and they're basically fairy doors. So um, that's what we're talking about, getting those and what to do with them. And of course I dip that good night, Kendra in that. So I need to take that out. All right. I got these little cups from Dollar Tree, the little ramekin things, and they're just plastic and I just use them, rinse them out and then reuse them again. So I am going to take, or you know what? There's not that much on here. I'm just going to use what's on the lid and then I'll wipe off. because I need to put this one in water because the black is on there. So if I use that one, then um, the black is, oh, and then I touched the dang handle. Leaving semi. Her page said, I love and appreciate you dearly, but when do you sleep? What time is it? Oh, crap. It's already 11. All right. Let's clear this and then call it a night. You know what? To be honest, I never sleep. No, I sleep. I like how I'm dipping in there. That's how tired I am. I obviously don't have to. Just try. Okay. Ooh, that black is uh see I don't have the green transferring like the black did. So we will clear this. So this is gonna stay this dark color now. It's not gonna go back to the lighter green now that we applied the big top to it so keep that in mind if you guys use the big top i'm double dipping don't tell anybody it's not transferring though so we are good all right coming around the bin here and then i just need to get that other end and we're good Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much for the stars and the send me a coffees. We appreciate it so, so very much. Um, and I always enjoy being on here with you guys and getting to chat with people that enjoy the same things as me and bouncing ideas off of you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys very much for that. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of Big Top as a top coat for me because I like matte. Yeah, it's definitely different, Charlene. Like, it's not something I would probably put in my, like, house either. But it might be somebody's cup of tea, right? Good night, good night. We're going to be ending right now, too. Um, It does have a little bit of a satin sheen to it. Drawing down nicely and quickly. Good night, good night. Please, if you're on Facebook, share this video so we can get monetized on our lives. Yeah, this one was fun. I'm glad we did the, um, the handles black. Good night, Kim. I'm just about done. Thank you. And like I said, Jackie, the brushes are supposed to come Monday, and then I'll get everything packaged up and shipped out. Okay. So here was our fun little Western rolling pin. Or I guess we could call it the Desperado. That's what we'll call it. So these two rolling pins will be available for purchase probably like tomorrow or something on the website. And I appreciate you all being here with me tonight and sharing. Um, and I will have a new thrift flip video out on Saturday. So I guess the outdoor one's going to have to wait until like the next Tuesday or Saturday. I don't have sponsors, Madonna, no. No sponsors here. The only person I usually work with is Cricket, and that's like once in a great while, and that's on YouTube, but um, I don't work with um, anybody. All right, my friends. I hope you have a lovely night and get a lot of rest. I'm gonna go lay down with the hub now. After I put all of my goodies away, back where they belong, and then I will. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here with me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Um, hold on. I don't know. How do I exit? End it in the broadcast. If I can. Okay. Do you not want to let me? Here we go. Good night. Thank you for helping out, Erin.